Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a new feature in Unify UID, which is the mapping feature. This allows us to create a floor plan for our business or for our home if we don't already have one. One caveat to it, you could only use it with iPhones currently. I'm sure they'll make an app for Android eventually. Another thing with UID map, we could monitor the status of our doors, which is really cool. And I'll show you that. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do so is to hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit MacTelecomNetworks.com. And I do have affiliate links down in the description below. Before we dive into UID for the layout, you should know that this is under their standard plan. So you will have to pay for it. Their standard plan, as it shows on their website, is $4.50 per user per month. You may be able to sign up for a free trial for it. And I'll show you how we upgrade our plans. Right now, we're sitting on my site for UID. And you can see over here that we have a layout and there's one map there. But to apply for the plan, we're going to have to go down to our settings wheel. From the settings wheel, you'll see this diamond icon, which is our plan, and we could scroll down. So right here, we could apply for add-ons. We could apply for the add-ons by clicking on it and then selecting whatever we want. They have a whole bunch of different integrations that you could try out. And you could see under my layout, it's for the free trial, and I have it free until June 30th. I'm not exactly sure if they charge you $4.50 per user per month. Just for the layout feature, you could contact sales and see if they could give you a different price. Now, the next thing that we would have to do is to create the layout. So if we clicked on layout, it's gonna tell us that we need to use the UID app on our phone, and then we'll walk around our home or our office to get that map done. And I'll show you what this UID app looks like. So under my Unify apps, you could see this has 38 notifications, and this is the UID application that we would use for the layout map. Now, down at the bottom, we could see all of the management tasks that we have, and we have a map right here. So if I clicked on that, this would start the initial layout of our mapping. I've already created a map and recorded it so that I could show you guys and talk about what I'm doing. But if we wanted to add a new floor or a zone, we would just click the plus icon up in the right hand corner and then we would name it. And this is the video I took of the layout and it's telling us to scan the ground under our feet. And it's kind of like their AR feature for the rack. We'll scan the ground and then it will calibrate. So you could see me scanning the ground there. And now it's telling us to add a corner or add a door. I pressed add a door and we see that in purple. And then after that, each corner I'm doing, I'm just adding the corners in and then we're walking around the walls. After the next corner, we're going to go again and then we will add the second door. And you can see in the top right corner that it's mapping this out for us. I'm going to skip a bit ahead because it's pretty much the same thing all the way. So where we started this layout is where we're going to end it. And it does show a complete button. Once we hit the complete button, it's going to show us our plan. Now the scan has been complete and we could see the floor plan of my main room. And we could see the size, which is 41 meters square, which is really great if you're trying to do Wi-Fi planning. To do Wi-Fi scans or Wi-Fi maps, you need to have a good floor plan. And this is a great solution if you didn't have a layout from the builder. Now, after clicking layout and UID, we could see that the map's been uploaded and there is a reference chart down here that says one meter so if we're doing any wi-fi testing wi-fi scales or if you're putting this into design center you'll have a foot marking which is great now the next thing i'm going to want to do i want to monitor my door access so we need to get a door access hub brought into here and the way we do that we could go to add devices up in the left hand corner and then we could search for the devices you can see that the door access is already showing up so i'm going to click on it and then I'm going to grab my UA hub and I'll just put it there and then I'll grab my UA pro beside both of the icons. We could see that they're green. So that means that they're up and running. And if we hover over them, it's going to show us the room, the status, the model and the IP address of it. If we click on view more, that's going to bring us into UID access. This is what I have set up for UID access. It's just my test kit, but we need to have something plugged into the door position switch. If we want to know if the door is open and closed. So right here, I just have a door contact and it's plugging into the DPS. So if we hit the door contact off, it will know that that door is open. Now to add the UID access to one of the doors on our layout, we need to go back into UID and then click on map. Now we could see the main floor and we could click on it and it's showing us our Unify access gear, which I have the hub. I have the reader light on there as well. So I'm going to select the front door and we're going to say to bind to our doors. 
and then we have it on our main floor and as you can see it's going green now so that's great i'm going to click save and if we go back into the uid on my computer we should see that that door is green and as you can tell the door is now green and it's showing that our door position is closed i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to hit the door contact off we're going to get an alert saying that an unexpected door was open because we did wipe in but then we should see that door go red at the top, we see unauthorized door opening. The main floor door was opened unauthorized. We didn't put it in a pin or we didn't swipe our card. The one issue that I have with this, it's not in real time because we could see that the door is still closed. We have to refresh to see if the door is open. And now you can see that the door is open and it's red. So hopefully it could be in real time. I'd like to know when the door is actually being open. It's nice that they give us an alert for an unauthorized entry though. Now, if we go to the main door and we turn off the alarm, it's still gonna show that the door is open, but it will be in blue this time. And that's gonna be it for Unify UID layout. And I really like this feature depending on how much it's gonna cost. I'm sure there's other tools that you could get on your phone to do this type thing, but I like the integration with Unify Access. I just hope eventually they get that in real time. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.